Hello guys, like I said in the last tutorial, in today's tutorial we're going to talk to take care of the bananas per second because right now they are not increasing. Let me put them in a bet in a better location, so like here, so that when I hit play, the this shows here, and right now they're not increasing when we click this, and that's because we didn't make them do that. So to do that, we're going to to use the banana handler and the shop handler. These are the only two scripts that we're going to need, and today's tutorial will only be scripting. I'm going to open the banana handler. There it is, there it is, and we're going to actually have to make a reference to this script because the way we're, that we're going to increment the bananas per second, well, we could an, uh, a simpler way was just whenever the person will buy something, the the banana handler script will go to to this array and check how much that how much bananas per second will you gain, and it will add to the total bananas per second. But we're not going to do that because that way we couldn't. Add multipliers. For instance, you want the if you wanted to multiply the bananas that the monkey did, that the monkeys did by two percent and the bananas that the banana trees produced by two hundred percent, you couldn't separate the bo them both because they they would only be the bananas per second variable. And and I'm I'm going to try to separate things so that you can add multipliers in the future. So here in the banana handler script, first we have to create a reference to this script. So all you have to do is go and put here a public reference. So public shop handler, which is the name of the other script, and we can call it shop handler, something like that. Oops. Okay. And now here in Unity. You'll see if I go into the banana handler, there's here a reference. There's here a reference for the shop handler script. And if I drag the place where the shop handler is, which is in the shop, I drag. Unity will find this shop handler uh, script in, in the shop and it will put it in here. With this done, now what we want to do is to access all of these elements in this array and we want to check its quantity its quantity and its cost for every single one of them so I'm going to create here a new function a new function in the banana handler here in the bottom which will be a public uh, void function called bananas second and what this function will do is that it will access that script through this reference over here and it will update the, the bananas per second so say so first I'm going to reset the bananas per second to be equal to zero and right now I'm going to make a, a forage loop very similar to the ones in here uh, if you don't know how to how forage loops work uh, go watch the link in the description about that about how they work so for each and right now we're going to access not the not the script not that script itself but the class so for each shop handler dot item because what we want is a is a class so item and is and not what we want now because what we want now is actually a variable let me try and explain to this this is a type and this remains equal to whatever the scripts are because there can be a, a million scripts called shop handler in the item type the item class this class is equal in all of them but there can be millions of scripts with the name shop handler but each script shop handler has a different shop items list shop items array so, and that's why here we access the script itself and here we're accessing a reference of the script and right all we have to do now is to make the bananas per second be equal to themselves plus the item item dot count times item dot gain okay 
and now let's put this function in the update function so here in the update nanoseconds like so save and okay so if I hit play and start and click to buy one monkey we'll see that the bananas per second increase and they start increasing like we want and that's basically it guys anyways thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial